Here's another system, but notice that there's a variable in there, c, whose value we need to find. And the question says that c is a constant, and we want the value of c that makes this system have exactly one intersection point. So that's what we're going to look for on the graph when we go to Desmos, one intersection point. So how are we going to do this? Well, we can start by just typing these in, 4y is equal to c, and we could already see there's an issue here. We'll talk about that in a second. x squared plus 4x plus 40. Type that in as well, and we could see that, well, there's nothing here, but we could just zoom out because our quadratic is up here, okay? But again, we've got this error message, and it says we only support implicit equations of x and y. So the problem with this is that there's no x in that equation, but we can really easily fix that. Because there's not an x, we can say, okay, this is really the same thing as 4y plus 0x, right? 0 times x is just 0. So really, I didn't change the equation up, but I put in an x, and it made Desmos happy. And you could see that now it's okay. But now we want to add this slider. So this is a really important feature in Desmos. We can add a slider, and that'll help us find the value of a missing constant like this one here, c. So we click that button, and you can see that if c is 1, then we're going to get this black line that just popped up. And we can drag this, and you can see that black line moving depending on what the value of c is. Now remember, the question asked us to find one intersection point. So you could probably already tell that we want to get this black line to go higher and higher and higher until it intersects this parabola right here at its vertex at this value here, 36. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can change the value of the slider by clicking this 10 here, and we can make it go bigger. So we want C to be maybe between 0 and 100. Maybe that'll help. And the step here is just how much you want it to increase every time. So we can do a step of 1. That'll keep it to whole numbers. If it's a decimal, we'll figure it out when we need to. But I'm going to hit Enter. And now my slider is going to be able to go up higher. And you can see that as I get closer and closer um, to 100, it's getting closer. But unfortunately, I'm not there yet. So I need to make this even bigger. Why don't we make it go all the way up to maybe 200? And now we'll keep dragging it. And you can see we're getting closer. And right about there is where they intersect. Let me zoom it in now just to make sure that they're definitely intersecting in just one point. Sure enough, yes, they are. There's the point. Now remember, the question asks for the value of C. And so let's go back and just check C equals 144. And so this here, D, would be our answer for this question. But just remember, a slider, you're going to add it in. You could change the values of it. And um, I guess the other important thing is just remember, we added in this 0x here. Otherwise, it wasn't going to graph it for us. So look for questions where you're going to have to add in 0x, or if there wasn't a y, you could add in 0y, and then it should solve the issue.